Oh hey, didn't see you there. This is Ty the Librarian and this is uh, another book tag. Still got friggin flies in this back room. Just trust, it's not me. I mean, I, I bathed a while ago. So, um, like I said, <laughs> the house is being worked on. So, whatever, we, we have places where critters can get in. I have the trap back here, so hopefully it's going to work. Uh, my wife's playing Skyrim as per usual, and I am filming videos for BookTube. So, this is the Reader Problems tag. I was tagged by Melissa and Barnsey Reed, and uh, thank you, Melissa, for the tag. So, here we go. I think there are 11 questions on this particular tag. So, uh, let's see how we do. Uh, question number one. You have 20,000 books on your TBR. How do you decide what to read next? Um, I don't think I will ever, that's, I know it's, this is hypothetical, but uh, I probably have 2,000 books on my TBR, and I generally go with what particular book I can get my hands on and just go from there. It's not really that difficult. Question number two, halfway through a book, you're, I, I'm paraphrasing, it didn't say this, but it says, you're halfway through a book, you're not digging it, <laughs> put it down or keep reading. Um, if I'm not digging it, I'm going to pitch it. I, I won't keep reading because, you know, if, you, if you've lost me, you've lost me. That's just the way it is. Question number three. The end of the year is coming. You're close on your Goodreads reading challenge. Do you try to catch up? Um, I'm on Goodreads. I have an, an account there, or whatever, but I've only been there like once. Um, personally, these challenges, I just honestly don't give a crap because I like to read at my own pace. Um, the only time that I push myself is if I'm the one doing it. So, no, I, I wouldn't sweat it. I wouldn't be worried about catching up. Uh, question number four. The covers of a series... The covers of a series you love don't match. How do you cope? Uh, I don't give a shit. I don't have enough money to care about what my book covers look like. So, there you go. Sound kind of mean, but it wasn't. It was truthful. Everyone loves a book you really don't like. Who do you bond with over shared feelings? Once again, people like Twilight, I don't. People like Harry Potter, I don't. You know, there's some people that agree with me. The vast majority probably don't. I honestly, that's that's fine. You know, whatever. Question number six: You're reading a book in public and you're about to start crying. How do you deal? Um. Wow. Um, well, I would probably just cry. I mean, I've cried in public before. Anyone that's been to a funeral, you've cried in public. So, whatever. Question number seven. A sequel of a book just came out, but you've forgotten a lot from the prior novel. Will you reread the book, skip the sequel, or go to Goodreads and check out a synopsis or cry in frustration? I definitely would not go back and reread the book. I mean, if it was good enough for me to be worried about the sequel, I would already have committed that book to memory, and, you know, I, I wouldn't have to go back and reread it. So, Question number eight. You do not want anyone borrowing your books. How do you tell people? No. Because I've had bad experiences with people borrowing my friggin' books. Question number nine. Reading ADD. How do you get out of a reading slump? I, uh... I just don't read. And when I feel like reading, I read again. It's fairly logical. There are so many new books coming out that you're dying to read. How many do you actually buy? Um, on my budget... Probably not many, and there's not many books that are coming out that I'm dying to read, so that's fairly simple. 
it's both economical and um, with me it's my book taste. Uh, most of the new stuff, I, I mean I've seen some stuff on booktube that's actually intrigued me and at some point I'll get around to it but I don't have money to run out and buy a crap load of books like some people do. Um, kudos to you guys. Um, <laughs> question number 11. After buying books you can't wait to get, how long do they sit on your shelf? Well, normally if there's a book that I couldn't wait to get, um, it doesn't even go on the shelf. I have a little pile in there uh, by my desk, not this desk, but uh, and uh, I start reading them right away so they don't go on the bookshelf. So That was the... Uh, <clears throat> Reader Problems book tag. Uh, thank you, Melissa, for tagging me. And thanks to everyone else for hanging around and seeing what I'm up to. Uh, because <clears throat> it's usually a mystery what I'm doing in the evenings. Thank you. See you later. Bye.